All right, good afternoon. We're down here servicing uh, 3021 today. We're going to be uh, doing an oil change here shortly. But today we're going to be uh, taking out the Kuno filters, cleaning them, and reinstalling them. All right, the Kuno filters on an Alco 539T, or just a 539, are located at the very front of the block. There are these two uh, twist manual twist uh, turn filters that provides a filtration system for uh, large chunks of oil and debris that's in the oil system. And these should be routinely turned before startup each day. And then upon periodic inspections, should be pulled out, cleaned out, and uh, reinstalled. So we've loosened up the four bolts that are all the way around the Kuno filters. And this top one is about ready to slide out. What the Kuno is, it's a series of steel plates. When you turn it, it rotates and pulls uh, debris out of the oil and uh, just kind of frees it up and collects and dumps into a sump that we drain out and uh, clean. And you can see this one hasn't been done in quite a long time. 3021 had oil, water in the oil and a number of debris and other things. So we're going to take this out, clean it with parts cleaner, and uh, then do the other one and then reinstall them. All right, so both Kuno filters have been removed. We've cleaned up the one here. Those are the little strainer plates. It's a series of uh, real thin metal plates that go together. When you turn the handle, they rotate, uh, scraping oil and debris and crud out of the system, and it drops down and collects. It had been so long since these had been operated that uh, both of the Kunos are actually seized up here at the shafts and through. So we're going to take these home, soak these some more, see if we can free them up or get two new off-the-shelf ones to replace these. But essentially, once these are cleaned and replaced, a new clean filter will uh, slip right back in and tighten up the four bolts. And that's uh, basically how the Kuno is serviced. All right, we're now in the uh, nose of the locomotive. On this particular S2, the uh, cartridge oil filter is uh, right in here in the radiator room. This is the uh, radiator fan unit. If you look to the left, there's this large cartridge oil filter. Four bolts on the top removes the cover, and the uh, filter is drip drying right now. It's pretty bad shape, pretty deteriorated. We're going to pull this out in one second. It's the Napa equivalent of a 1297 filter, pretty readily available from uh, local parts stores. But we're going to take that one out, put a new one in before we put uh, fresh oil in this locomotive. And this is the uh, cover that goes on the Nugent oil filter in the nose, made by the uh, Nugent uh, Lubricating Oil Filter Company. They're still in business, or you can at least still get the parts. You can get the filters, gaskets, and things like that. Mid-Continental uh, Diesel also has the gaskets available as replacements for these. But like I said, it is a Napa 1297 filter. 